Hello everyone, welcome back. Today in this video, we will see how to take the screenshot of the particular web element. Till now, we have seen uh, how to take the screenshot and another one we have seen how to take the screenshot of complete web page. So first one was for how to take the screenshot of this complete page, this page which is visible on the screen and another one, one was how to take the complete web page screenshot like scrolling down and take the complete web page screenshot. Right, so two are done. Now, third one, we will see how to take the uh, screenshot for some particular element. Suppose we want to see whether this uh, heading is coming or not, this logo is coming or not, these these tabs and all uh, headings coming and all. So uh, these uh, particular we will particularly we use it when we want to check some particular web element. Like suppose on login page and all, whether you are getting that error or not, that screenshot if you need or sometimes on some page that image is coming or not and suppose in these things if you want to see uh, sub, uh, if you, suppose you want to check this uh, contact so whether this contact tab is coming or not so these things we for these things uh, validation we need uh, that particular web element screenshot right so as we have already seen capturing the screenshot or capturing the screenshot of uh, full uh, api a full uh, web page that is very easy same way we will do it for the particular web element also so as we all know that now uh, we have to take the screenshot uh, we use a short so a short jar you have to include in your uh, project in case if you are using maven project uh, uh, include the dependency to take this i have already all done uh, all these things in my previous two videos i will uh, give the link but in short i will tell you go to the uh, google search for a short jar files and then go to this my maven repository uh, their uh, website their official website and then download it and then uh, download it and then include it in your uh, uh, web driver project and for that, that also how to uh, add external jar file also i have made a video in short again i will tell go to build part go to configure build part and then go to library and then uh, go to class part and then add external jar select your jar and then apply in code and this will be added for that also i will give you the link you can go through if you want uh, in detail so now uh, we'll write a uh, uh, code how to take the screenshot of uh, a specific element so for that i have written some simple uh, java program which uh, by which we will be able to navigate to that application okay so first to uh, take the particular web element first we should know which element we want to take and we should have that locator for that element right suppose for example i am taking this image we want to uh, take the screenshot only this image nothing else we want to check it right so for that what we will do we will inspect it right and uh, we will we will inspect it and we will uh, write a code only to make this element screenshot visible okay we will not capture any other thing along with this so for that class i am taking which is uh, unique so i am taking image and then class equals to see guys to take the uh, specific element screenshot you have to be very thorough in taking the xpath uh, locators so for that also i have video i will share the link and in case by mistake if you take wrong locator lo wrong uh, screenshot then not only this uh, everything it will be captured so making this code work you have to take the screen uh, uh, locator very precisely very uh, clear and only for this uh, element if suppose if you take little wrong also not about this because this i have done the mistake so i am telling you if you don't take custom logo logo and if you take this link suppose this is a custom logo link right so what it will do see here also this is not a class and this is A. Yeah. 
see if you uh, carelessly if you see oh this is coming and this one one out of them, this is unique and if you take this uh, class uh, locator what will happen see if you see carefully it is the uh, it this is uh, uh, this is for entire page so again it what it will do it will do say the same thing it will take the entire page screenshot so whatever you want to take the locator uh, uh, screenshot for that element that element locator should be precise otherwise it will not capture the screenshot it will capture the screenshot but it will not capture the screenshot only for that element some other things also will be captured with along with that element so first what we have to do we have to take the element right so for that we will create a variable of type web element right web element let's take the variable name is uh, specific element specific specific element equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath and now copy paste the correct url here right so this will store the value of this locator now what we have to do we have to uh, write the code for taking the screenshot so for that we will create a variable screenshot the type of screenshot right screenshot screenshot screen short equals to new a short we are calling that to library a short a short a short dot shooting strategy shooting strategy shooting strategies dot view viewport pasting right viewport pasting and we will take this time out so is suppose that element is down or somewhere it will scroll out in this time okay and then dot cots cots provider right c o o prepare cots provider we will take it it should be cots provider Cots provider it should be cots provider wait why cots provider because we are providing the coordinates here right so Cots cot provider new web driver new type new web driver cots provider dot take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of the third one because we are taking the screenshot of the web element element, right? So driver, driver is correct, and a specific element has taken automatically, right? So now same column. Okay. Now what we have to do? See here what we are doing. We we have created a variable with the name of uh, with the type of screenshot, and we are calling the a short API, and then we are giving the shooting strategy. Shooting strategy dot view for pasting. If that element doesn't come, uh, go scroll down, and we are providing the coordinates, and then we are telling take a screenshot, and then driver specific element. This element you should take the screenshot, right? And now. Uh, screenshot has taken now we have to paste it somewhere right so we can check it physically 
it's in the clipboard but we have to paste it somewhere right so for that we will use image dot input input output file we will use it image dot input image input we will use it right so image input dot write write src short c if you have c the value it was showing the file dot get image dot get image and then the format so format will be jpg and jpg jpeg png whatever you want i prefer jpg it's my personal choice whatever you want you can give and then output folder you have to give new file it should be file type only right new file new file new file and you have to give the path so suppose i want to this i am deleting for any further confusion and i will give this path and the file name also right so file name what do you want what do you want to give whatever you want to give give so i will give a specific specific element screenshot screen shot dot we have to give the extension also jpg and guys make sure whatever file format you are using here that should be same extended here there should not shouldn't be any mismatch board file okay now let's run this program and it should take the screenshot of that particular web element only let's see program is starting it is invoking the browser chrome driver was started successfully then it is browser opened it is passing the data it is loading see it is not scrolling down because at the very uh, up only we got the element if we give some elements element which is down the page then it will scroll and take the element wherever it exists but as we have given the very first element it did not scroll it right let's see the screenshot whether it has taken or not it has taken the screenshot let me open with paint see it has taken only that uh, logo so like this wherever you want to do any validation and wherever you want to take the screenshot of any specific element we should follow like this thank you guys for watching my video